Hey guys, welcome back to the Rider Waxing and UK One Wheel channel. So, in this episode, I am going to be waterproofing my roof of my 2018 Porsche Boxster daily driver. And I'm taking full advantage of the awesome English weather we've got at the moment to make sure this dries. So, let's go through what I've got on my boot lid. Never done this before. Kind of seen a little video on YouTube on how to do this. Um, but uh, yeah, it's going to be a play in motion. So, come along the journey. As I like to do on most of my channels, kind of take it as it goes and we work it out as we go along. Let's have a quick look and show you the tools that I think I need to get this looking mint. Okay guys, so what have I got? Firstly, one airline. That's going to blow the roof off and get all the dust off, hopefully, for more than nooks and crannies. So I've got to use one of those, just to have it on the floor. I'm also going to be using this. Now this is what you would normally use on your dinner jacket. It gets all the hairs and dust off if you've got a pet. This came from Ikea, just there, not sponsored. Um, but that we're rolling the roof and getting all the very fine contaminants off, making sure that we don't seal those in with the Fab Seal water protector when we paint it on. We've got some very cheap kind of uh, tool station screw fix brushes, nice big wide one and a narrow one. We've got a tub to put in the Fab Seal waterproof. And this is the stuff I have seen online that people advise to put on. Basically, if it waterproofs tents, at the end of the day, it is a canvas. Uh, the membrane actually lies underneath the canvas of the convertible which obviously stops the water from coming in i'm going to repel it like i say we're going to use this awesome weather we've got some scissors to cut up the polythene and i'm going to show you that in a second when i time lapse me getting this ready i'm going to mask off the rear windows fold the roof semi and tuck this around the back of the boot area so obviously when i do come down and paint i won't be painting any of the paintwork a bit of masking tape and obviously the key for the roof and the tub and some scissors quite straightforward surely it can't be that difficult and hopefully we should see a color change in the material so let's crack on and time lapse this roof getting it ready to receive some fab <laughs> So let's take a quick look at what I've done. Obviously this polythene folds and folds and folds, so you get a very big expanse, great for spraying cars. I basically folded the roof, which you can do off the remote. So if you push and hold um, the unlock button of the remote and hold it, it actually folds the roof down and you push and lock, it folds it back up. So it's very handy for this job. So do use this. So push and hold, unlock, the windows drop, the roof will unfold and lock and vice versa of which then you can trap it in underneath. So I can now paint up to this line where that rubber seal is, um, not getting anything on the paintwork. It's trapping that polythene under and I pulled it quite tight so I could actually stretch it underneath the actual rubber seal of the back. Just taped off around the window and obviously the front's very straightforward. You simply put a bit of polythene, push and hold the lock button, fold the roof and it pulls it nice and tight. Leaving the window slightly open because obviously we're gonna fill these up We'll paint this and now like i said i've blown the roof off unfortunately you do have some fold marks on the roof which is inevitable and that roof is extremely hot i'm thinking maybe it's not a quite a good idea to do it in this intense heat um, but i think it will dry obviously extremely quickly um, so i'm going to roll over it now with my little sticky roller which is actually stuck to the policy just in order to move like so and what you do with this i pop you in my hand just here you find the edge of the sticky bit which is just there and you peel off exposing a nice fresh sticky pad and that sticky pad is what you simply roll all over the roof picking up any loose bits of debris, any bits of fluff. I'm going to roll the whole roof, so I'm going to do this, and then I'll pop you back in the stand and we'll talk you through applying the waterproofing. 
Here we go. Cool, so while my neighbor plays on his silent drum kit, which is perfect timing, I'm gonna apply this Fab Seal. I'm gonna pop it in that pot. We're gonna use the dry, brand new paint brushes as it recommends on the tin. And basically you gotta apply it on and then you gotta use a cloth just to wipe off any excess and it's a six hour drying time. Now, I will do a before and after of this roof to hopefully see if it does change the color. As you can see, it's masked off. Now it's painting time. Let's pop you on time-lapse and let's burn through this Fab Seal waterproof roof. Okay, as my neighbour carries on whacking his silent drums, I should get copyright music for this. Check out the rhythm, check out the beat. Right, here we go. One paintbrush, and I'm not basically being stingy with it. I am lathering this stuff on. As you can see, there is a colour difference in the roof just there. If I quickly just do a quick pass, I'm not allowing it to drip. So, away you go. You just literally... work it in just keep working it in so that's what we're doing you can see that wet patch there and it's drying nicely and it is actually changing the color of the roof to a darker more enriched black which is good so back to time lapse it's crack on i can dance to the rhythm of the beat So there we are guys, one coat, nice and rich. Obviously we do have a few wear marks because I do use the roof as much as I physically can. It do look a lot worse on camera, but a real rich color. Still a little bit damp just there, but we do a before and after. And that is one coat. And what I'm gonna do, I've used about half of that can and that size there was about one liter and it's about 12 pound I think it was from a go outdoors store. Um, which they basically sell tents and stuff. But yeah, that is looking loads better. But more importantly, is that I know that it's sealed, which is the most important thing. And the rhythm is still getting me. He is very good on the drums, I'll give him that. So yeah, like I say, these wear marks unfortunately do stand out a little bit more, but we've got a nice and rich dark hood now. Taking the tape off around the rear screen. Um, but yeah, we'll get another coat onto this. We'll get all the car strip back and then we'll look at the before and after a little bit later on. First coat done. Wow, what a finish. We have got that OEM finish on that bottom picture, that lovely matte finish, opposed to that top picture with that very soft shine to the actual canvas roof itself. I'm really excited to pour some water on this after that six hour dry time. I feel it's gonna be like a duck's back. Water just beading off. There we are guys, one waterproofed roof. Sadly the marks do look a little bit more evident on camera than they do in the flesh, but uh, they are just sadly the fold marks. Goes to show that I actually do use the roof, which is nice. This thing's down whenever it's not raining. Really, really pleased. It's definitely got a lot more enriched in color. A lot more enriched in color. And I know it's protected for the winter months, especially the weather we've had at the moment while it's sunny it is a great idea just to simply get out and waterproof your roof it took about an hour in total and it's cost me a roughly 15 pounds and uh, i think you'll agree it's come up superbly well and we just know now when we get that rain it's hopefully going to duck off now I will if i can when i wash my car and i won't wash it at home because we've got a hose pipe ban when i go to work and wash it because it hasn't a hose pipe ban there um, I'll chuck some water on it and we'll try and get some beading shots at the end. But up to that point, guys, thanks ever so much indeed for watching. Stay on for a few more seconds, but hit that like, hit that subscribe. If you want more videos 
on Porsches, some hints and tips. I'm more than happy to do them, but stay tuned to the channel. Keep watching. And until next time, we will see you soon. Here we go. Six hour drying time. I think it might rain, but let's try it off. Here we go. First attempt. As you can see, I've not preemptively tried this. Let's see if it ducks water like a duck's back. There we go, people. That is what you want from your roof. Hey, bingo!